Welcome. Today we're diving into the heart of electrical power, right here in your university lab. This is where theory meets practice, and where you get to see the magic of electricity unfold before your eyes. This demo substation isn't just wires and switches, it's your hands-on gateway to understanding how electricity travels from power plants to your devices. You'll get to manipulate the components and see how each part plays a crucial role in the bigger picture. Here, you'll move beyond theory, operating real equipment and seeing the results instantly. It's an opportunity to bridge the gap between what you learn in textbooks and how it applies in the real world. This lab is your training ground, safe, controlled, and designed for you to experiment, learn, and build confidence. Safety is paramount, and you'll be guided every step of the way to ensure you understand the importance of each procedure. You'll master the basics of voltage transformation, circuit protection, and the intricacies of how these systems work together to deliver power efficiently and safely. And troubleshooting, skills that power real cities. These are the foundational skills that will prepare you for a career in electrical engineering, making you a vital part of the energy sector. Let's approach this with curiosity and respect. This is your first step into the world of electrical engineering. Embrace the learning process and take full advantage of the resources available to you. Ready to flip some switches and unlock the secrets of the grid? Let's get started. Your journey into the fascinating world of electrical power begins now. Before powering up, let's meet the main components of your demo substation. The power supply is your starting point, feeding electricity into the system. Isolator switches act as gatekeepers, safely disconnecting parts of the circuit for maintenance. The transformer steps voltage down to safer, usable levels. Circuit breakers protect the system, instantly cutting power during faults. Meters, voltmeters, ammeters, wattmeters give you real-time data on system health. Bus bars distribute power efficiently, while protective relays detect faults and trigger breakers. Understanding these players is your first step to confidently operating the substation. Safety first, always. Before you even think about starting any work in the electrical substation lab, remember that your well-being is the top priority. Every step you take should be guided by caution and awareness. Before touching anything, put on your PPE, safety glasses, insulated gloves, and closed-toe shoes. These are your first line of defense against electrical hazards and accidental contact. Take a moment to carefully inspect the substation for loose wires, frayed cables, or stray metal objects that could pose a risk. Even small issues can lead to big problems if overlooked. Ensure the area is clean and dry, with no puddles, clutter, or debris that could cause slips or electrical shorts. A tidy workspace is a safer workspace. Know exactly where the emergency shutoff button is located. In an emergency, seconds count, so make sure you and your team can reach it quickly. Confirm all switches, isolators, and breakers are off. This is your safe starting point. Never assume, always check for yourself. Visually check for open gaps in isolators, making sure there's no chance of accidental connection or current flow. Double check the off positions on all breakers, confirming that every switch is exactly where it should be before proceeding. Always work with a partner or under supervision. Double check each step together. Teamwork helps catch mistakes and keeps everyone accountable. Discuss your plan before starting. Clarity prevents mistakes. Make sure everyone understands their role and the sequence of steps. In electrical labs, check, double check, and stay alert. Your safety depends on it. A thorough pre-flight checklist is the foundation of every safe and successful lab session. Time to power up. This is the moment where all your careful preparation comes together. The substation, which has been silent and still, is about to come alive with energy. Every step you take from here is crucial for a safe and successful startup. With all safety checks complete, it's time to turn on the main power supply. Watch for the indicator light. It's your first sign that electricity is flowing into the system. This small glow means your substation is ready for the next steps. Next, close the isolator switches on both the primary and secondary sides. These switches create a complete circuit path, allowing power to move safely through the transformer. Double check that each switch is fully engaged before moving on. Now, engage the circuit breaker to energize the transformer. You'll hear a solid clunk as the mechanism locks into place. This sound signals that the transformer is now live and ready to step voltage up or down as needed. Check your meters carefully. The primary voltmeter should display the input voltage, 
while the secondary meter will show a lower output, confirming the transformer is working. Take a moment to compare the readings and ensure they match your expected values. Now, connect your load, such as a bank of bulbs or another test device. Make sure the load switch is off before attaching it to the terminals. This step prevents sudden surges and keeps your setup safe. Flip the load switch on. Instantly, the bulbs should light up and the ammeters will show current flowing through the circuit. This is a clear sign that your substation is distributing power just as it would in the real world. You've just simulated real-world power distribution safely and successfully. The energized equipment and glowing indicators show that your system is functioning as designed. Keep monitoring your instruments throughout the process. Watch for any unusual readings or warning indicators. This is how you develop the skills to spot issues early and maintain a safe, reliable substation. Congratulations! You've brought your lab substation to life, mastering each step with attention and care. This hands-on experience is the foundation for real-world electrical engineering success. Shutting down is as crucial as powering up. First, turn off the load, watch the ammeter drop to zero, trip the main circuit breaker to de-energize the transformer. Voltmeter should read zero. Open the isolator switches starting with the primary, then the secondary, creating a visible air gap. Turn off the main power supply, the indicator light goes out, Leave the substation with isolators open. This signals it's safely off. Tidy up, complete your report, and practice this shutdown until it's second nature.